In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. Humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God. God. <laughs> to you, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, look with compassion on our weakness and ensure us your protection by stretching forth the right hand of your majesty. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty even on the parched land. He will renew your strength and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruins shall be rebuilt for your sake. And the foundations from ages past you shall raise up. Repairer of the breach, they shall call you. Restorer of ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath from following your own pursuits on my holy day, if you call Sabbath a delight, and the Lord's holy day honorable. If you honor it by not following your ways, seeking your own interests, or speaking with malice, then you shall delight in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will nourish you 
with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts you. You are my God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion, that he may live. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his, in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus said to Levi, follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Leaving everything behind, including his table, his pen, perhaps his calculator, as it, is, uh, it was understood then, Levi lived, left everything behind. My dear brothers and sisters, I think this is an invitation to us to reflect on the story of conversion. When we follow the Lord, we cannot bring with us 
things, persons, places, habits that contradict the teachings of the Lord. We cannot say, Lord, I love you and I will follow you. And at the same time, saying yes to our bad habit, saying yes to our evil life. We have to leave everything behind. Kasi kung minsan, sigurista tayo eh. Susunod tayo sa Panginoon, pero daladala pa rin natin yung mga bagay na gusto natin. Pero hindi lahat ng gusto natin tama. Hindi lahat ng gusto natin ay kalugud-lugud sa Diyos. Hindi lahat ng gusto natin ay kalooban ng Panginoon. When we follow the Lord, just like when Levi answered the invitation of the Lord, we have to leave everything that contradicts, that contradicts the teachings of the Lord. Sa Tagalog, meron tayong sinasabing hindi tayo pwedeng mamangka sa dalawang ilog. Hindi tayo pwedeng mamangka sa dalawang ilog. Hindi tayo pwedeng nagdarasal, nagsisimba, no? nagkukumunyon, pero yung buhay natin ay taliwas sa pinagdiriwang natin. Pero ano naman ang ating gantimpala? Well, sige, let's, let's leave everything behind. But what is... What do I receive for leaving everything behind? Then the first reading tells us, blessing, blessing. There are several times when the word if and then were used in the first reading. If, if you do this, then I will do this. That is the assurance given by the Lord. If you remove from your midst oppression, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness. Then the Lord will guide you always. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath, if you call the Sabbath a delight, if you honor it by not following your ways, then your delight shall be the Lord. That is the promise to us. If we follow Jesus faithfully, even with sacrifice on our part, the Lord will bless us more abundantly. Kasi kuminsan, natata- natatako tayong isugal sa Diyos ang lahat. Kaya meron pa tayong iniiwan para sa ating sarili. Huwag tayong matakot na isig- isugal ang lahat sa Panginoon. Huwag tayong matakot na ibigay ang lahat sa Diyos. At iwan, iwan yung mga bagay na taliwas sa Kanyang gusto. Huwag tayong matakot na gawin yun. Ang Diyos ang bahala sa atin. Amen. Please stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation with humility of spirit. Aware of his call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may peace prevail among the nations of the world, through the mercy that they show to one another, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That unity may grow in our nation through the citizens' respect for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That at work and in our families, we may not be fault finders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass, as well as for our own particular needs. Father, this season of Lent, even as we seek righteousness, keep us from self-righteousness. As we look forward to the Savior for mercy, may we participate in His saving action by forgiving those who have sinned against us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all the creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Easter. Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its working, we may offer minds well-pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family with one common Father in heaven, we pray. Our Father, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished with the gift of heavenly life, we pray, O Lord, that what remains for us a mystery in this present life may be for us a help to reach eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Sorry.